Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on my channel. If you forgot who I am, hi, my name is Sharon, and I moved, and I'm back. And I'm not gonna lie, setting up my camera and my lights was super awkward. It felt very foreign. I even forgot how to do basic stuff like use my camera. I was like, I don't remember it having this many buttons, but nonetheless, I figured it out, and I'm back. Now that that's out of the way, I wanna start with today's topic is going to be on Amber. It's gonna be the latest post that I posted on my Instagram page, at Sincerely Sharon Speaks. If you're not following me, go follow me there. Um, if you don't know who Amber is, she is in the Jess Fam universe. She talked about recently about her split to Gabe, which is Jessica's ex, and she also addressed the end of the Fantastic Four podcast. So if that topic sounds interesting to you, then please keep on watching. Okay, so before I get started, I wanna lead with this is my channel where I share my thoughts and opinions. I'm not saying that I'm right. This is just my perspective. You may have a different point of view and that is okay. If you would like to, you can share your thoughts in the comments below. If you would like to subscribe and see more videos like this, feel free to do so, but you do not have to. So before I get started and read Amber's story that she posted on Instagram, I want to do a little bit of a recap. And if you guys remember last year in February, 2022, Jessica was gonna go on a cruise for her birthday. And before that, she went on a live stream on Instagram where she kind of basically threw Janelle and Janelle's daughter under the bus talking mad Mad shit about them and their friendship and honestly ending their friendship very publicly in a way that it did not have to be but she took it upon herself to air Janelle's dirty laundry so with that in mind um after that is when Janelle posted and she basically exposed Jessica she subsequently went on to go on to the dad challenge podcast and she even spoke to me a couple times via DMs. But the point of this is that Janelle basically said that Jessica didn't really like Amber. And there was a lot of, you know, negative things said. Um, I think alluding to the fact that they didn't have money for food, that Jessica paid for everything, just little things like that. And back then, Amber did a Q&A where she addressed a couple of the questions that she had been getting a lot of pertaining to the drama between Janelle and Jessica. And one of the questions was, did the dumb internet drama catch you by surprise? Are you and Jessica okay? And she basically said, Jessica and I are fine. We have different a different relationship than she does with her friends. We have different personalities, a different choice of friends. We have to be in each other's lives because we co-parent. We are also friends, which makes co-parenting easier. Regardless of what is said, Fantastic Four official has a great relationship anything outside of the four of us I have no comments about because our friendship relationship is the only thing that is relevant to me. So obviously we have no idea what took place behind the scenes. We have no idea if Amber and Jessica actually had a conversation about the alleged comments that Janelle had stated or said. We have no idea. But publicly, I think Amber handled herself very well. I think she had a lot of composure in a situation that I don't necessarily know that I would be composed. I would have been like, oh, you want to talk crap? Okay. <laughs> but seriously, like that was messed up, right? So it's been very known for a long time that the Fantastic Four official, although it includes Gabe, Chris, Jessica, and Amber. It's very much led by Amber. She is kind of like the one that does the scripts. She is the one that does the planning. She chooses topics. She, it's kind of like her passion project. And Amber has been very vocal about not liking to be in front of a camera. She doesn't necessarily like YouTube, but she just does it because in my opinion, I feel like she feels obligated to do so being in the Jess fam universe, which is weird because I mean, nobody should be force you to do anything. So it's weird that she f takes it upon herself to do YouTube videos. But from what I can see is she's never really been active on YouTube. 
but the podcast thing was always her thing. So that leads me to the very last podcast episode, which is working in special education. There's kind of like a lot of things that stood out to me listening to the podcast. The first one being is that Amber's voice is very monotone. And I think the dynamic of the four, Gabe, Chris, Jessica, and Amber is is a very nice dynamic. Granted, the podcast was not great. However, I think it was engaging to the audience because Jessica has a more, I mean, say what you want about Jessica, but she is through and through a content creator. She has the bubbliness. She has that cadence that is very much needed as a social media influencer. And Amber does not have that. So when you're listening to that last podcast episode, you can hear it just kind of sounds a little monotone. I think the topic that they were speaking on was very important and interesting. However, the tone and the cadence that they had wasn't necessarily captivating. If you listen to... I actually have some special guests today, which you guys, we've never had a guest on Fantastic Four ever. So I have my friend Sierra and Nicole. They are my coworkers. Um, and I thought it would be fun to have them on and kind of just talk about what we do because we all work in a classroom in special education, specifically autism classrooms. Um, and I know I got a lot of questions when I first talked about getting this job back in this. Again, very great topic, but the cadence and the tonality, in my opinion, is not there. Um, but something, knowing what I know now about Gabe and Amber splitting, something that I thought was interesting was what she said about not necessarily feeling Christmas this year. And I'll play it for you now. This year I have not been in my normal Christmas spirit. Usually I'm like, Christmas is my favorite, and I've talked about it so much, how Christmas makes me so excited. And this year, I don't know what it is, but like, I have not been my Christmas loving self. I, I don't know, I've been in this funk where I'm just not, I don't know. And it makes me sad because Christmas is my favorite. I don't know, it's kind of like some foreshadowing or reading in between the lines for us as a viewer. Influencers or, or social media personalities don't always share things openly, but they say a lot of little things that put together paint the big picture, right? So now that we have the context of understanding that Gabe and Amber are splitting, this just adds a little bit more context or it, it it really fills in the picture in my opinion. But now let's read the post that Amber posted. So there has been a lot of questions about a lot of things. I have stayed silent because I honestly didn't know what to say. Um, I will say I didn't even notice because I've been very much removed from social media over the last couple of months, but let's keep reading. The rumors are true. The podcast is over. At least for me, I no longer want to be involved in it. And that sentence alone is very impactful in my opinion because, again, I will reiterate, this podcast was very much something that Amber had pitched to the team. This is something that she had kind of really pushed for. And again, it was her passion project. And for her to say, I no longer want to be involved in it, it, it speaks like loads, it, it says a lot. She says, I honestly can't fully explain because I haven't even talked to the other hosts about the podcast since December. I find it interesting that she specifically referred to the others as the other hosts. She didn't specifically name anybody by name. So that in itself speaks that she wants to really separate herself from the from the team. She said, I haven't reached out to anyone and nobody has reached out to me. So the last episode was posted December 23rd. Nobody has reached out to her since December 23rd. And it's been a little over a month and she hasn't reached out either. So for there to be that much of a disconnect 
is huge. And then she goes on to say, I was the one who put a lot of time and energy into the podcast because I enjoyed doing it. I was usually the one to ask when we were going to record, chose the tips, I think she meant topics, wrote scripts for the sponsorships, etc. The very last episode that was uploaded was of me and my friends slash co-workers talking about working in special education. I wanted to talk about that for a while, but didn't know how to talk about it because the other three hosts wouldn't be able to relate. Well, that a little bit of shade, I don't know. It was a Thursday afternoon. I usually upload the podcast to go live at Friday at midnight. I made a last minute decision to record the podcast with my coworkers without talking to the others. I didn't want to miss an episode. I didn't think it would be a big deal. So I'm gonna pause right there to just kind of recap. I, I get what she means by she didn't think it was a big deal, but at the same time, if you are going in with a group of people on an endeavor, a project, you, want to make sure that everybody is on board. So to me, that is a little bit disrespectful to the other team members. Granted, she's always been the one to push for the podcast, but it still has everybody's name attached to it. And Jessica has a very big brand. So out of respect, I think it would have been appropriate for Amber to reach out and say, hey, I want to take this episode. I want to take creative liberties in this episode and have my friends be a host on the podcast. Um, so the fact that she didn't ask or maybe didn't feel comfortable asking um, speaks a lot. It says volumes in itself because it says that there's no like transparency. There's no clear open communication in a place where you should have clear communication because ultimately these people are your coworkers. You have a big project and commitment with them. So that's really messed up that she didn't. Um, she said, I pride myself of being consistent with the podcast and the podcast Instagram, although nobody else cared as much as me. I was confronted about making an executive decision without talking to the others, and I apologized and said I was wrong and should have mentioned something ahead of time. Other things happened afterwards, and I just stopped communicating. So I wonder if she's implying that there was a huge argument because she says other things happened afterwards. It doesn't really elaborate much on the subject, but it leads me to believe that there was a pretty big discuss discussion because she just stopped communication afterwards. So again, this is one of those things where I think we as viewers have to kind of read in between the lines because the fact that they haven't spoken to each other in over a month when, again, they were very much involved and if you look at what Amber said earlier, like a year ago, yes, she said that they were co-parenting, but she also acknowledged Jessica as her friend. So for them, again, to not speak to each other in over a month is, is really significant. Gabe and I are getting a divorce. It has no correlation with the podcast or the other hosts. Many things have happened throughout the years and I don't want to elaborate. Because honestly, I'm still trying to put myself back together. Things are very stressful at the moment. I'm trying to become me again. I privated all my YouTube videos because that just wasn't me. I would, would have never been successful on YouTube because I will not post things like other people do. And that is, in my opinion, very much shading Jessica because Jessica is willing to post anything on YouTube as long as it gets her views. She is willing to imply anything on her thumbnails as long as it gets views. And Amber is making it very clear that she is not willing to risk her integrity going forward to do things like that. Um, she's basically saying, and my personality is not suited for that lifestyle. So um, it's very evident, again, that Jessica and Amber are two very different people. Again, you can see it and you can hear it in the cadence of their voice, in the way that they live their lives and present themselves. It's just very two very different people, and that's totally fine. But she's speaking out about it. She says, I'm a normal person who is tired of putting my energy into things and people who don't deserve it. 
I'm finally standing up for myself and I'm done. I will still be active on here in TikTok, but I will no longer be vlogging on YouTube. Maybe I'll do something with it in the future, but I will not put my old videos back up. I don't want to elaborate, elaborate on every single issue. I don't think it's necessary. Thank you for everyone who has been concerned and I'm sorry for not saying anything sooner. I just needed to be in a better headspace before I officially addressed anything. I know a lot of people want the tea and drama, but that's just not the person I want to be. I hope you can all understand and continue to follow my journey with whatever the future may hold so i think amber has a very good way of communicating herself in a very i think composed and professional way she threw a little bit of spice in there i am not like other people implying she's not like jessica but overall i think her delivery was very it said what she needed to say without giving too much details. Granted, as a viewer, I'm like, well, what happened? I want to know more, right? But I can respect her perspective and her stance on saying, I don't think it's necessary to share all the details. I don't think it's necessary for me to do X, Y, and Z. I'm removing my videos from YouTube, and that's that. So, I don't know. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on it. Uh, obviously, um, it has she made it very clear that it has nothing to do with the podcast ending it, it, she says that it has a lot to do with things that have happened throughout the years she didn't elaborate on that either um i'm very curious to see what gabe will do because he wasn't really social media involved but i'm wondering if he'll ever address it if he'll ever post about it if he'll comment on it um and how Jessica will surprise us. I wonder if she'll do another crazy live stream where she's going to diss Amber and then Amber will come out and expose Jessica and we'll have another situation like 2022 or if it will just end here and forget about it. I don't know. What are your guys' thoughts on this? What do you guys think that is going to happen next? Let me know. I will start posting more videos. I've honestly not kept up to date with literally anything i've been keeping tabs here and there but it's been so difficult to just log on to social media for me because i'm so just checked out i feel with work and moving and all of the stuff getting new, used to our new routine so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm going to make like reaction videos i'm gonna start watching a lot of the videos that i've missed and reacting and offering my commentary i am not a channel that posts the latest details and tea i do comment on drama but it's not right as it happens it takes me time to get to it so Bear with me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!